Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe Hendy, the Android Authority App Guy. After the intro, we'll be taking a closer look at Google's latest app called Google Keep. <laughs> Google Keep is an application where you can take notes. Note taking has always been a popular activity with smartphone owners as you can keep a veritable refrigerator box worth of sticky notes on your phone. Google Keep aims to bring that functionality in a nice clean interface with a few nifty features. At its core, Google Keep is a very simple application where you can store your thoughts, notes, memos, and other nonsensical bric-a-brac that really isn't suited for anywhere else. There are five ways to leave yourself a note. The first way is using the quick note feature. You just put down the cursor in the text box at the very top and jot yourself down a quick note. This is helpful for when you have a sudden thought and want it written down real quick. The second way is your standard note taking. It opens a box where you can enter just about as much text as you want. This is helpful for longer, more involved notes when a quick note just won't cut it. During testing, we were unable to find a character limit, so you could write a novella in here if you wanted to. Third is the list note. You can use this to write out a list of things. It can be a grocery list, a to-do list, or pretty much any other kind of list that you can think of. This kind of note is helpful to anyone who, well, needs to make a list of something. Fourth is the voice note. It opens the voice search box and lets you dictate your note out loud. This is helpful for when you're in an environment where typing is a hassle. During our testing, the dictation was pretty accurate and it's definitely one of the funnest ways to take a note. Aside from dictating the note, it also saves the audio so you can listen to it later. An extension of voice note is to use the voice search on your phone. Simply start by saying note or take a note, then say whatever your note is. It will take this info and save it as a note to Google Keep. This is definitely one of the best features because it lets you take a note with seconds and you don't have to open Google Keep first. The final way to leave a note is to use a picture note. When you use this note taking method it opens up your camera. You can then take a picture of whatever you want to take a note about. You can also add some text if you want to. This note taking method is great especially if you need a visual aid or want to remember what you saw when you decided to leave yourself that note. There are some other features for Google Keep. If you want to rearrange your notes you can long press a note and move it around. Once you're done with a note you can either delete it or archive it. So there are some built-in ways to manage your notes once you have a bunch of them. Perhaps its best feature is its integration with Google Drive. If you log into your Google account and go to drive.google.com backslash keep, you can find all the notes you took via the mobile app. You can also leave new notes there and they'll be synced to the mobile app. So no matter where you access it, you can leave new notes and everything will stay synced. Overall, we quite enjoyed Google Keep. It's a wonderfully simple way to take notes and stay organized. It doesn't have all the features of other note-taking apps, but it has enough of them to where using Google Keep doesn't make you feel like you're missing out. The only caveat is that there is no handwriting note taking methods, so people with devices that have a stylus or people in general that use a stylus won't be able to take notes that way. No big deal though. With the variety of ways to take notes, the Google Drive and Google Search integration, and the clean, simple, and friendly interface, anyone who wants to take notes with their phone or wants to start doing so could do a lot worse than to give Google Keep a try. Once again, I'm Joe Hendy from AndroidAuthority.com. Feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our social media links in the video description.